Could you please state for how long you've been a member of SCP-838-1? You had me read the ad in the middle of last week, Doc, so just a few days, I suppose. Is this the ad you were asked to read nine days ago? Help wanted. Assistant Operations Manager, no experience required. BS and Business Administration preferred, must be dependable and capable. Salary TBD. Serious inquiry should be directed to operations at palace.inc.nav. Yep, that's the one. And you can confirm that you replied via email to the posting you just read aloud? Yes, with the Foundation's generous supervision to make sure I didn't take advantage of the brief internet access, of course. Please describe the dream you experienced in the first night following your response to the job listing. I seemed to fall asleep quicker than usual, and then things got a bit weird. It felt as if I had woken up again, but I was no longer in my cell. I seemed to be in some sort of waiting room, wearing a suit I've never owned before. Can you describe the waiting room? Pretty standard stuff. Couch, carpeted floor, a few chairs, all pretty conservative designs, nothing of particular note. Noted. Please continue. After sitting there for what felt like about 10 to 15 minutes, a woman approached me from down the hall. Greetings, you're right on time. We appreciate punctuality in our potential hires. Please, follow me. Can I offer you anything, Mr. Usman? Tea? Bottled water, perhaps? No, thank you. I'm good. I'm sorry, did you just call me Usman? Yes, of course. That is your name, correct? I have here in my file... Excuse me, Mr. Omar. Omar Minhaj. My apologies. Sometimes our files are a bit mm, outdated, and I was not looking at your most up-to-date profile. Your files? You have a file on me? Yes, of course. We have files on all of our applicants. From where exactly? From your mind, of course, silly. We have your brain packs over all the personal information we need while you're in transit to your interview. Are you implying my own brain would process my name incorrectly? Not at all, Mr. Omar. I'm sure your brain is functioning at proper efficiency. The brain simply stores more information than we are aware of consciously. I'm sure your brain wasn't mistaken. Perhaps just a name from a past life or something similar. I suppose so, if you believe in reincarnation and that sort of thing. Belief doesn't make it so. Having something be so makes it so. Are you telling me that reincarnation is the truth behind what lies after death? I'm sorry, Mr. Omar. That's not exactly my department. We seem to have gotten off topic, though. Let's focus back on the interview at hand. How did you hear about the job opening here at Pellis Incorporated? Well, somebody showed me one of the newspaper want ads earlier today. Ah, I see. Our job listings. From the Chicago Tribune? I'm not sure of the paper, to be honest. I only saw the one clipping. A direct referral, then. And who showed you the ad? Friend or family, perhaps? Not exactly. More like a supervisor of sorts. Ah, I see. Mm, you're one of the applicants from the Foundation, aren't you? Pellis knows about the Foundation? Hold on. I'm getting to that part. Do you know about the Foundation? Of course. The Foundation sends us most of our applicants nowadays, you know. We can't say that we appreciate their monopoly on our hiring process, snatching up all of our job listings from the public eye and all. But it's no matter. We are working on ways to diversify our advertisement outlets. But enough about us, we want to know about you. I'm sure the Foundation pushed you to apply for the job, but we want to know why you want to work for Pellis. Does what I want really matter as long as I get the job done? Of course it does. It matters tremendously. Our greatest motivation comes from our internal drive, not extrinsic motivation. Not even motivation in, dare I say, the form of threats? No, no. In order for us to expect you to perform well at your job, we have to know that you want to be here. So I ask again, why do you want to be here at Pellis? 
Well, I suppose breaks my incarceration at the Foundation would be nice, even if it is only my dreams. Are you sure trading prison for a corner office at Palace is enough of a push in the right direction? That does not sound very promising to my ear, Mr. Omar. I've heard your compensation for my time spent here will fill my needs. Ah, yes, weekend dreams. Of course you get weekends off trading work hours at Palace for pleasant dreams and fantasies tailored to your liking. I suppose that is more freedom than what you're used to. I suppose so. And while we may find joy in our jobs, we all work for that paycheck at the end of each week. Am I right? Very well, Mr. Omar. I suppose that is as good a motivation as any. Work hard, play hard, and such. Excellent, excellent. Now, let's take a look at your credentials. I see here you don't have a degree in business administration like we were looking for, but you do have degrees in international business and entrepreneurship. Can you elaborate on your experience? If I do have degrees in those areas, I can't say I remember them. Maybe another file oversight from a past life, perhaps. Mm. No, definitely not an oversight on our end, Mr. Omar. Your file clearly states your education prior to your time with the Foundation, including a long-term work history with a certain MC&D Limited. I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me regarding that tidbit of information, would you? D9085, we've told you before. We know very little about your past before you transferred from Lincoln Correctional Facility in New York. Certainly natural you'd have employment prior to your incarceration. Small startup, independent law firm, perhaps? You see, Doc? You all think you talk real smooth, but I'm finally putting the pieces together to see through all this bullshit. You see, I haven't even told you the juicy part yet, Doc. I can't say that rings a bell, unfortunately. I don't remember much about my life before my time at the Foundation, so it's certainly possible, I suppose. Are there any other details written there that may jog my memory? Mm, not many additional details, no. Other than technical descriptions of some sort of simple job duties software proficiencies and whatnot. We do have your referral contact on here as a Mr. Amos Marshall, but I doubt we'll need to call in a reference. Did you say Amos? Amos, you say? You heard me, Doc. That name ring a bell? You may not remember, but your pal listening on the intercom system remembers it from my testing with SCP-1602 and 216. I don't see how that's relevant to my question. I'm getting real tired of the games. It's my life and I deserve to remember what I don't know and why I don't remember it. I know you didn't want me reading the note from this safe, and I want to know what you're hiding from me and why right now! Security! Stand down immediately, D9085. Like hell I'll stand down. I want to know what's going on around here. Don't make us remind you who's in control here. Want any chance of ever getting out of here? The only chance of that is with our favor. Fail to comply again, and we will put you down without a moment's hesitation. Now sit down immediately. Now that we've established who's in charge of the interview, please continue with your account, D9085. Are there any more details? Can we call them? Let me see the file. I'm sorry. While the information is technically yours, our filing system intricacies and designs are proprietary, there will be no need to call a former employer. Please take a seat, Mr. Omar. Well, overlooking the stranger parts of this interview, you seem like a reasonably confident and driven individual. And your experience on paper certainly speaks for itself. Whether you can recall it right now or not, our files don't lie. Welcome aboard, Mr. Omar. We'll get you set up with an office and have you start right away. Please, follow me. You will continue working for Pellis in your current capacity updating me on any events of note during these weekly sessions, minus any additional outbursts. Am I understood? Understood. Guards, please return him to his cell. Okay, 
Here you are, Mr. Omar. Please remember we expect eight hours a day in peak efficiency. You'll find that your office is outfitted to handle all of your needs. Should you have any questions, you know where to find me. Welcome aboard. Palace is happy to have you.